This is Galactic Fantasy being played on the iPad 2, a space RPG trading strategy combat game, which as you can probably tell, is a visually stunning experience in space. As you build a crew, buy spaceships, and travel from one end of the galaxy to the other while trading things for money to buy new weapons, which you'll need because the combat gets challenging quickly. As you plow your way through the standard RPG style storyline in the game, you'll have to fight enemies in your main mission as well as take side quests where you can also blow up ships for money and resources. This is a nice sizable game that you can spend a lot of time with because earning money for new spaceships is not terribly difficult, it's just time consuming. But it's also one of these relaxing games you can just play on the couch or while you're waiting for the train or whatever. Combat is the most involved aspect of galactic fantasy. Basically what you do is fly within range of your enemy, lock onto them, shower them with missiles, keeping an eye on their shield and your shield because they can also lock onto you, recharge when necessary, and hopefully uh, blow them away. Eventually you'll have two additional ships in your fleet and you'll also want to upgrade them with uh, the biggest, best ships with the most weapons and best crew. If you distract your opponent and uh, cause them to drop their shields, even if you're recharging, the rest of your fleet can destroy them for you. While this may look a bit complicated at first, it actually makes complete sense once you start playing the game from the beginning. It's a very intuitive control scheme and works really well on the iPad. But don't think it's easy, you'll have to put some time into the game, a lot of time in fact, to get a ship that can withstand some damage. When you start the game, you have one crappy ship with only a few weapon slots and part slots that you fill with armor and a shield and whatnot. When you continue playing, you can buy cruisers, destroyers, and battleships. You earn money and experience each time you win in battle. And to be honest, I'm not entirely sure what the experience does for you. Maybe it un unlocks new ship classes. I'm not sure. In most areas, Galactic Fantasy is quite solid, especially considering the affordable price of this game. In other areas, it could use some improvement, like random encounters, for example, would have been a great addition to this game, because trading is a bit monotonous, as you find the best trade routes and run them over and over again just to earn money. It takes time. The storyline is told throughout some pictures and text on the screen. Some of the mangled English dialogue is highly entertaining. Everything is written out as if it were spoken in slang. She has died for 20 years. Apparently she was thrown into a Sarlacc pit. Or did you mean she's been dead for 20 years? A small detail, we get the idea. Check out the ship customization, which is one of the best features in Galactic Fantasy. You spaceship fans will love this. As you buy bigger and better ships, you can buy more and more stuff to equip. Like new weapons, armor, new AI, faster engines, and cargo space for more trading. You'll assign crew to each of the equipment slots, and you'll have to spread them throughout the three ships in your fleet. While Galactic Fantasy feels like it's got some room for improvement and has a few loose ends here and there, it's a really fun space travel explosion fest. Especially if you enjoy just chilling out and watching your fleet get bigger and more powerful, and then blowing up enemies. You'll watch the cutscenes a thousand times, so it's a good thing they're easy on the eyes and really enhance the space travel experience here. Galactic Fantasy is highly recommended. It's an extremely affordable game that packs some challenging combat as well as some relaxing strategy and travel throughout the cosmos. It's Galactic Fantasy.
And hopefully it's not the final one. There should be more.